Tale Adventures of Rain Dance Maggie from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Flea punching it out to you. Now listen. I swear it's like they said to Flea, all right, make a song this time, Flea, with all the slapping and popping. Make it easy for beginners so beginners can play a Red Hot Chili Peppers song all the way through, no problem. No tricky stuff and no different timing and no mess it all up. Just make it super easy for beginners. It's like they said that to him because that's what this song is. And you are going to learn it. It's really simple. It's really fun to play. It's funky. It's a great bass line. You're going to love it. Anyway, I am Finbar. Okay, so what are those bass videos all about down when you click on the YouTube text box right there? Well, bass playing is, is kind of a time of discovery, you know? It's like an adventure. You're learning new stuff all the time. You're increasing your chops. You're getting better, right? So we need to practice bass. And when we're practicing, you know, and learning all these different techniques, like through these videos, why not make it fun, right? I mean, that's great. If you can actually get better on the bass, you know, and learn all these different songs or techniques or whatever, and, you know, and have fun doing it instead of just doing it through, you know, repetitious, you know, study, um, then that's, that's a fantastic thing and that's fun. You're doing it through something that you love. You're doing it through music. And, and that makes it just so much easier to do and so much better. So don't forget, click on the uh, clicker box right down there in the YouTube text box. Um, I think it's really going to help you out. Okay, so you're going to start on the uh, seventh fret right here of the uh, A strings and standard tuning. And you're going to hit that seventh fret twice. Kind of staccato, not you're all... And then you can either hit it again really quick and then go to two hits on the fifth fret of the D string, right? Right, you know the rhythm. Or for that third fret, you can just hit a little ghost note there. Not actually, don't actually hit the note, right? But sort of keep your finger on that uh, where you would to fret it, but don't press down and still pluck the note with your finger. Or if you're playing with a pick, still hit it. And it's these ghost notes that that make stuff, you know, really funky. So if you want it, just hit hit the note real quick, or else do the ghost note. So you got, and then you're gonna go seven five four on the A string, right? Just like that. And the next part, you're in the, on the third fret. This is the third fret right here. You're on the third fret of the A string. Hit it twice. And then the third time you hit it again is a very quick note. It's almost just like a like a passing note. You like you hardly even hear it. You could do a ghost note there too if you want. And then you're gonna go and hit this fifth fret twice, fifth fret of the A string. So you got right. And then you go. So then you're on the third fret, fifth fret, and then sixth fret of the A string. So if I do that slow, right, you can do a little slide from the fifth into the sixth, because you're going really chromatically here. You're going to be going five, six, and then when you go into the beginning of the next uh, measure, you're going to be on the seventh. So if you want to. Do little slides if you want, or just or just hit the notes normally. Now the second time you do this, it's slightly different. He alters it a little bit. That part's the same. So instead of going um, like this, you're going. And what that does is it just adds that little uh, fifth fret of the D string little, oh, how you doing? There you are, kind of note in there. Or you don't expect it, because normally you're going, and this is, so you got, right, you're on the seventh fret twice, little ghost note, two hits on the fifth, seventh fret of the A, fifth fret of the A, and then fifth fret of the D. That's the oddball right there. And then just like normal, you're back into this third fret. All right? Just like before, you're going to hit it twice, then a little quick note, and then two, two on the fifth fret of the A. But then you're going to go, 
right? And that kind of signals like the end of that that whole progression, right? So you're on the third fret, second fret, and then open A, just like that. So if I play that whole thing slow, just so you can see what it all looks like, I'll play both parts. Ghost note. Fifth fret. Three, two, oh. <clears throat> and that keeps repeating. Actually, as long as you got those two parts down and you can go, um, you can cycle through them, you're good. You know, just keep practicing it and you'll absolutely get it. Now, the other part you're going to do is you're going to be on the 10th fret of the A string. This is the 10th fret right here. It's my 12th fret, a little C for Cirrus right there. So you're on the 10th fret of the A string and you're just going to be hitting its octave. Remember, this is an octave. That shape right there is an octave, no matter where you put it on a uh, four string bass. So if you hit a note, right, like this note right here, this G, uh, you are going to go, basically, if you want to define that octave, you'd go like two strings down and two frets up. And that's its octave right there. Very important to know. Anyway, you probably know that already. So that's the rhythm right there. And you're just going back and forth on octaves. And if you're familiar with Flea's playing at all, you know that he loves the octaves. So I'm hitting this 10th fret twice, 12th fret of the, um, of the G string once, three times on the 10th fret, 12th fret, and then back to the 10th. So you got... Really, that's kind of what you're doing is just twice. So you got... Just like that. And you take that same rhythm, same exactly what you did there, and you just move it around, basically. So whatever chords they're on. So you're on the 10th fret here. 7th fret. And you repeat. 10th. 7th. 3rd fret. Go all the way down here to the 3rd fret. And this is all on so far on the, um, on the A and the G strings. And here's the interesting part. Go to the second fret. And then you're going to go to the fifth fret, actually, of the E string. Of course, you could do this with the open A string if you want. So you'd be hitting on the uh, open A and the second fret of the G. I prefer to do this. That's on the fifth fret of the E and the seventh fret of the D string. So at this time you're only gonna hit, you're gonna do five, five, seven, five, 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 seven. And then you're gonna do this little leading part here. You're gonna hit that seventh fret of the E, eighth fret of the E, right? And then you're gonna be on that fifth fret and you're just gonna drone on that fifth fret, like uh, eighth notes, a measure of eighth notes. And then you can start your progression over again, right? So I do that kind of slow. And usually when you're when you're doing these octaves, uh, you can either do them with your um, pointer finger and your third finger, which is kind of more traditional. Or if you want to play more like a funky player, you're playing it with your um, with your pinky. Or actually, you know, a lot of players just do that with their pinky anyway because it's more comfortable for them. When I learned. I learned one fret per uh, finger for doing quick solos and stuff like that, but uh, it's actually better, I think, to, to play with your uh, pinky when you're doing a, um, even when you're slapping and popping and stuff, because then you could use these other fingers to mute some other strings and they could do other cool things. Like when you're on this fifth fret here, right? So I got, Look, my finger is poised and ready to hit that uh, seventh fret already. Just like that. Just like that. So I'll just play it real quick just so you can... I'm sure you really know what the rhythm sounds like anyway, but I'll play it just so you can see what it looks like.
see I kind of slid between them and stuff. You can ornament it and do whatever you want. Really, have fun with that. That's a, that's uh, actually a fantastic uh, run to be able to ornament however you want, you know? So definitely, you know, have some fun with that one. All right, Adventures of Rain Dance Maggie from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to click on the YouTube text box right down there to get those lessons if you haven't already. Other than that, you could always subscribe to Finbar Bass. That's my YouTube channel. Lots and lots of other stuff on there. I'm putting more theme music on there all the time. Old music, new music, whatever you're looking for so you don't get bored. All right, hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you so much and have fun with it, yo.